Oh, hello. Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm recreating something I've been seeing a lot on the internet and that's this like um, human skin being pulled back to reveal something crazy underneath. I've seen people do skulls. I saw um, Nikki Tutorials did like a demon looking one. So I decided to recreate it and do an alien underneath. She's like in a mechanical human suit. I don't know, you said mechanical. Why is yeah. it mechanical? Well, I don't know. That's how I envisioned it, I guess, but it could be just a regular human suit that's just a little baggy or something. Are you calling my regular body baggy? For your alien body, yes. It's Cause... pretty freaking weird. This here is just a little piece of cardboard that I had to cut out and paint black because I suck at winking and I can't keep one eye closed and one eye open. But if you are skilled like that, you don't have to have this. You edited it? You're like the Monopoly man, but an alien. <laughs> Before we go any further with the tutorial, if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every single week. Uh, after you subscribe, don't forget to hit the little bell right next to it, which will notify you every time I upload a video. We're gonna start the alien transformation and kind of the, the skin lifting up illusion. So what I'm gonna do is get this wet and wild brown pencil and I'm just going to outline where I want my skin to be lifted up. So I'm gonna bring it up. If I'm holding it up here. I'm just bringing it down between my eyes and I want to expose my nose here because that's going to be alien and then bring it up right here and let it fall down okay the next thing I want to do is start painting the alien skin tone so I have this water activated paint by paradise this is in the color light blue and I'm going to start painting this all over my face and neck All right, the next thing I want to do is start drawing the details of the alien's face and I'm going to start with the eye. So I'm going back in with my black liner and I want to make the eye quite big. Just starting in the corner here. And we're going to bring this up and it's going to encompass my eyebrow and it comes to a point up here, rounds back down. And now I just want to color this in black. You could use face paints for this, but I don't like getting face paints too close to my eye. So I'm just going to stick with this eyeliner. It just, it is kind of hard to get off later, but whatever. YOLO. Okay, so I have the eye filled in there. I went over it, like I said, with that black eyeliner. And then I went over that with some black eyeshadow just to make it super pitch black. Now I want to do the details of my nose. So it's really just going to look like nostrils that are in my face. So I'm going to take my natural nostrils and take this uh, black eyeliner and just run it up here. And we're just kind of extending the nostril and connect it with the other side of my nostril. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other side here. All right, the next thing I want to do is outline my face on the alien side. They have kind of like a skeletal look, so it's very wide around their eyes and then it sinks in and gets very small around their mouth and then comes to a point i'm just going to do the same thing on this side and then i'm going to take my black paint by paradise again and just fill in that negative space with the black Alright, so I have my black filled in. The next thing I want to do is some of my alien contouring. I'm going in with a small dome brush in this dark charcoal color called Sirius. Again, in my Gwen Stefani palette. And I just want to get some of the contouring like around the eye. So it looks like their eye sockets, like their cheekbones and their eye sockets protrude quite a bit. So we want there to be a highlight right under the eye, but then right under that should be a shadow right around here. I'm bringing it up around the temple. and right up around my lips here. And I'm just getting a bigger fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend some of that gray in a downwards motion 
just to blend it into the skin tone so it doesn't look too harsh. But we just want that like bone area right under the eye socket to look really highlighted. All right, the next thing I want to do, I have these shadows to outline where the bone structure is. And I'm going to go in and do a little bit more of that in a little bit. Um, but now I want to take my small dome brush and make the shadows that would be cast by this kind of wrinkled skin being pulled up. So I'm going back into that black shadow and the small dome brush. And I'm just deepening up the edge here. Alright, the next thing I want to work on is the kind of rippling effect of my skin where it's supposed to be pulled up. So I just have my brown pencil back here. And I'm just going to create those lines where it's supposed to be wrinkled. Now that I have the shadows around my wrinkles done, I want to go back in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And uh, for wrinkles, we have the, the deep shadows that are the actual wrinkle, but we also want uh, the light to be on the top of the wrinkle, that's the actual fold, just to kind of bring the wrinkle to life. So I'm just getting my um, Jumbo Stick Pencil and a very small, I don't know if you can see that, it's a very small pointed brush. And I'm just going to place this white on the tops of the wrinkles. So I have the folds pretty much how I like them and where I want them, so we may or may not come back to that. I want to work a little bit more on the area now, and for that I'm just going to start deepening up some of the edges here. I want to make this a little darker around where the skin fold is to make it look more realistic. Do you think that music's copyrighted? That's like, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. I'm sorry, do it again for me? Is that what the X-Files one or the... How's that one go? That's my son! Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. Yeah, that's... That's the one. That's the one. Alright, I'm going to add a few more details around my neck here. I want it to be a little more clean. So I just have my black eyeliner again. I'm going to make a clean line across my neck. Ah, man. You are really... I, yeah, I was eating an apple and something went down the wrong throat or something. Something went down your wrong throat? Yeah. The wrong, uh, ah. Which throat did it go down? The one that's supposed to have only air go down it. Oh. Alright, I'm just going to take that line and fill it in with some black shadows. Like show. And then I want to make it look like my neck is like attaching in the back. I'll show you what I mean if I can pull it off. I'm just taking a white paint pot from Wolf and getting my brush in there. You don't always do this, but there's been a couple of times where you're like, oh, I don't like how you just turned out, I'm going to give up, and then like, it comes out looking pretty awesome. Let's just put a little more time into it. Shut your face. Isn't it nice having two batteries? We wouldn't we would be waiting the charge Listen, right you have no idea. What? I would be the one sitting here like half an alien for an hour. Well, you know what, love, you may not believe this, but I do suffer a little bit with you when you, uh, you know, I feel mm -hmm. for you because you're my wife and I love you. And Nobody wants to see people they love suffer. So. Aren't you the sweetest freaking thing? Hey, I am the sweetest freaking thing, okay? So you better appreciate me. You better appreciate me. You better, you better, you bet. Oh, that's working out a little bit better. I need to blend it down. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that a lot. Thanks! 
Okay, so I'm trying to make it look like from the front that his head is like just going into like a human suit, I guess you can say. So I'm just working on blending everything together. So I just have the back, you can see the back of the neck coming through here, but it doesn't quite look realistic yet. I'm gonna make the, I have my black paint from Wolf. I'm gonna try to outline, make this a darker black. All right, so I have my neck done, I think. Um, as you can see, I have the back of my neck coming up. I just added some white gel liner back there to brighten it up. So it looks like his head's just like sinking into a human body. So the next thing I wanna do is work on my lips. So for the alien lips, I want them to look really small and like he doesn't really have any lips. So I'm just taking my black liner and I'm just gonna make the inside of my lips just the very a very small section of the inside of my lips black. Alright, just like that. And I also want to make some crackling, like streak lines going up through my lips. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is take the NYX gel liner in white, and I'm gonna add some highlight on the alien's eyes. So the next thing I wanna do is put on mascara and a false lash on my human eye. So the last thing I want to do is black out my actual eye. I'm going to use a little piece of cardboard I cut out from a paper plate and I'm using some spirit gum and I'm going to attach that right around my eye and then I'll paint it black. Alright guys, that is it. That's um, the alien. It was actually really frustrating to make. Um, it took me a long time. I started at like 2 and it's 5.43 right now. So there goes my afternoon. Um, it was very hard to get everything right because you know your head is always turning so the illusion is hard to keep when you're moving your face around. So getting the black shadows just right, getting these white shadows just right, it takes some practice and I, don't, I still don't think this is perfect, but um, in certain angles, I feel like it works, so whatever. Any illusion that you attempt is probably going to be a little tough because, like I said, wherever you move your head, it's going to contort and distort the, the illusion that you're trying to make, so just keep that in mind. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. Again, if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, I do put out new videos every week. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't you think, Clow? Yeah. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for anything beauty related, any characters or Halloween looks you'd like to see, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to do those. Ow, my finger cracked. Did you hear that? Is that what that was? Yeah. I thought that was your mouth. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.